Dr. Steve Lee at the Australian National University Research School of Engineering, along with Dr. Tri Fan of Sydney's Garvin Institute of Medical Research, have developed a novel method for fabricating high powered lenses that can turn your smartphone into a high resolution microscope. To produce the lenses, the researchers squeeze liquid droplets of silicone gel onto a microscope cover slip and flip the slip over, allowing the gravity to form a naturally parabolic shape. These lenses don't require the same grinding and processing techniques as traditional glass lenses. The droplets with magnifying power of up to 160 times and 4 micron image resolution are formed from the same material used for contact lenses, which means that they are scratch resistant and won't break. Moreover, each lens costs less than a cent to make. To test the applicability of the lenses, Dr. Lee and his team worked with Dr. Fan to create a 3D printed frame to hold the lenses, some LED lights, and a coin battery. When attached to a Nexus 4 smartphone, the device became a de facto microscope. The potential uses of the smartphone microscope are endless when used with appropriate apps. For instance, doctors in remote areas might be able to diagnose illness on the fly. According to Dr. Fan, this is a whole new era of miniaturization and portability. Image analysis software could instantly transform most smartphones into sophisticated mobile laboratories. What I've invented was a simple process to make high-powered lenses. So the process is quite simple. By mixing a solution of silicone um, gel, we extract a little droplet, on, put it onto a flat cover slip, and flip it over and allows gravity to pull it into a nice parabolic shape, thereby forming a nice lens. This method is different because we remove any grinding and more processes that's required for making a lens. It's very easy to do. In fact, I would think that any, anyone at home could do it. It costs around less than a cent to make a single lens. Well, I think the first time we had the lens attached to a smartphone uh, and we were able to image down to you know, hair follicles and sweat pores, um, that was very exciting. And the next step from there, that was we were able to actually image single yeast cells. Um, that was really um, a very exciting moment. It will be very useful for the developing world because of the cost of lenses that is required to do microscopy images. And what this has done was to reduce the cost by um, two orders of magnitude. Having this microscopy tool allows um, health workers to be able to take images at remote sites and transfer it through the internet to um, doctors elsewhere. A farmer could actually take the lens onto the field, attach it to their smartphone, take a photograph of the pest and send it to the lab for diagnostics. So no longer we are very much restricted by the lenses you buy off the shelf. What you can really do now is actually make it at home and tailor it to your purpose. Three D printing industry news TV brought to you by Three D Systems.